Chicago has welcomed thousands of migrants in recent months, bust in from Texas. Tonight, we have learned there is a plan in the works to house hundreds of people at an old school in the Woodlawn neighborhood. It's a decision many residents and the older woman say blindsided them. CBS 2's Lauren Victory has a story you'll see only on two. Occasionally, neighbors near the old Wadsworth Elementary School would see some lights on, a meeting or a training of sorts. Recently, other activity caught their eye. Dumpsters and trucks haven't been seen at this building in years. Companies like uh, bringing in uh, bathroom equipment, uh, lighting. Woodlawn residents were intrigued, even excited about what could be coming to 64th and University. Maybe to put in an uh, incubator or some type of cultural center. It will be a center of culture, all right, but an unexpected one. CBS2 has learned this former school is being prepped to become a shelter for migrants, home for up to 500 asylum seekers bust in from Texas. You put them in harm's way, it doesn't make sense. Alderman Jeanette Taylor says she had no idea this was happening or else she would have suggested parts of her ward that are home to Latinx organizations and churches. By being here, they would be in a black part of the war when nobody speaks Spanish. Nobody could help them. The frequent Lori Lightfoot critic informed residents about the city's plans in this letter, calling out the mayor for rushing to create housing in an area that's already struggling. It's great to take care of other people. You're not doing the same thing for the homeless people in our community. Other concerns include the proximity of the hundreds of newcomers to a senior building and a high school. We have no idea what the background of the people are that they're talking about bringing here. We as uh, taxpayers, we deserve a lot more transparency and uh, forthrightness. No one we interviewed said they disagree with helping asylum seekers. It's just how that help is happening. In Woodlawn, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. So when are those migrants moving in and how much will all of that construction cost to prepare that space for them? We reached out to the mayor's office to find out, but they've not responded to our questions.